Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we are back at that campsite at Douglas. Um, I didn't do a walk-in video or anything. It's kind of a, a trek in here. Just kind of wanted to get here, um, get set up, get the ball rolling. I'm here with uh, Novak Outdoors. He's here. Uh, DP Dylan Pooler, my guy. He's back there. I'm on the shot because I'm knackered. Wow. Wow. It's hot. I don't mind telling you. Yeah, I might go topless myself, you know. I'm a little too large in my core area for that. <coughs> Very unappealing. But we're going to do a little more with the shelter. Um, I got some ideas. Uh, also have a hammock. I'm just going to do a hammock um, tonight. It's the first night here. Uh, I also got some stuff to do um, some spicy chicken. going to do some fried chicken. Spicy. Spicy style. Spicy style. Spicy style. Spicy so, style. Yeah, that'll be it. We're going to get the ball rolling and see what we got going on. I'll catch you back here in a minute. Look at naked guy running around in the woods. That's blasphemy. So, so we're going to be doing hammock again. So I don't need to unclip that. Uh, we just moved, so I don't have my tarp. I don't know where the hell it is. It's not supposed to rain tonight, so I'm That's not that worried hard. about it. Uh, guess we're going to be looking up at the stars or the trees, I guess. All right. So, like I said, we're going to do a hammock uh, today. So, so I'm a hammer crack here. Hopefully, uh, I can make this work from this tree to this tree right here. I'm banking on it, but... I hope. Looks like it'd be long enough. Or short enough. We haven't really talked about it much, but our previous spot behind work has has been pretty much demolished. Um, they're expanding at our place of employment, um, and that kind of reaches into into the wooded area behind work, where we were doing our other setup. So this is kind of a uh, opportunity to start fresh, start a new spot. Then you don't have to listen to trains. Yep. See, that right there is the uh, best part about this spot. The intermodal. F in the intermodal. Some will tell you not to do it this way, but like Joey says, we haven't died yet. So I'm going to keep doing it, as Joey says. <laughs> see if I can get this thing going. See if you can't get it. See we see. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> Alright. That's enough of that. <laughs> That's enough of the <laughs> shenanigans. <laughs> so this is where I'm gonna be tonight. Uh I'm saying it's not supposed to rain tonight. I'm debating if I want to put up a tarp anyways. Um, I don't know. We're going to get a little more headway on this shelter.
We are black anus Angus. <laughs> Male blue jay that's still in bed. Or penis? Sucasaurus. Penis? Sucasaurus. <laughs> penis? Sucasaurus. <laughs> I always feel like I'm going to crash this thing. <sighs> Don't you have a little feet you can buy for him to make him fat? Yeah. I have to give me a pair. Just a Yes, more than a pair. There's four. You have to give me a quad set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I'm going to get started on this. to the left a little bit, but it's not bad. <coughs> you want to get a level out? Just kidding. What is it, crab leg night? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, the golden crowl has gotten very pricey. Dude, it was like, what was it, 20 bucks a head? Yeah, it wasn't even no special night or nothing. That shit was expensive. I'm gonna do a Canadian jam <laughs> night. Like before. She ain't going nowhere. <coughs> that's my second ridge line. So that's my second ridge line. The game plan here is to kind of have a, a slight slope. I'm gonna run some uh, some cedars on top and then down the back, and then I'll probably fill in this area right here too. I'll probably run one from here to here and then slope down maybe or vertical up. Obviously fill that little gap in right here too maybe. But yeah that's the game plan with this. I'm gonna put this in here. Also thought about running one from here to here to kind of have a cover some more coverage right here Joey talked about doing the same uh, that way you know if it rains it could be out of the rain um, but yeah that's the game plan look at this dude over here in the woods sounds like some live trees he's cutting down Let's kick his ass. Since I don't have a measuring tape, I'm going to Oh, that's a good
here, up against the oh, tree true. here. Like this is going to be too small. About as far as I got on the other one, isn't it? Before they bulldozed it? Yep. Yeah. Get my little cheater stove out. I'm kind of starving. I'm going to do a backpacker's meal. Um, it's an Indian dish. I'm not going to try and butcher the name. <laughs> but this is it. Give it, a, give it a try. <coughs> I'm all about the backpacker's pantry. I like that. They're probably the best. That I've had at least. <coughs> I'm a backpacker's pantry kind of guy myself. You're the type of guy to buy a mountain house in Walmart. Mountain house, huh? That's how you know. Mountain house dishes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gatos. Toss. And then you zip it up and wait. Hope you guys can see that. This is the uh, end result right here. Not too bad looking. Are there beans in that dish? No. Chickpeas. Well, chickpeas also. Uh. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this a little bit, and I might get back at it. for later. Not jalapeno this time. Also, maple waffle bacon cut. <laughs> maple waffle coffee. It's pretty dang good. That's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Over there. He says Phenomenal over there. So I debated if I wanted to keep this shot included in the video. 
Um, basically, the fried chicken didn't turn out so well. Um, I've, I've been able to make fried chicken in the past camping um, and had no issues. The one issue I had this time was that my oil was not ready. Um, and then combining that with uh, throwing multiple chicken in there at one time, I significantly lowered the temperature of my frying oil, which in turn made me pretty much boil the chicken instead of fry it. So, you know, as you can see right there, my temperature was significantly not ready. And then you'll see I also put all of that chicken in there like an idiot. Um, I did go to culinary school. I should have known better. And um, whenever I mess up, even at home, um, it kind of upsets me a lot. Uh, so, um, you know, in, in this video, you'll see me kind of beat myself up about it a little bit. Um, you know, I kind of get that way when I mess up dishes and mess up, you know, in that standpoint. But um, it's really kind of upsetting because I did make a lot of good footage leading up to uh, me actually cooking this. Um, those bags of chicken and flour uh, and the egg mixture, all that was put together right then and there beforehand. Um, I marinated the chicken in Frank's red uh, hot sauce and garlic, uh, salt and pepper, and um, you know, putting all that together, I had, I had great footage to 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 make this whole dish great. Yeah, it's just just disappointing. I, I wish I would have that would have turned out a little better than it did. Uh, I still end up eating some of that, and the flavor was great. The flavor was there. It's just it was you know soggy chicken. Um, we'll try it again. Um, you know, the concept was great. I uh, just didn't execute it the way I wanted it to. So, um, you know, maybe next time I'll, I'll have another go at this and show you guys some wicked good fried chicken. Um, I think Novak Outdoors can attest to my fried chicken making skills out in the woods. Um, I don't disappoint. So, all right, well, uh, let's get back into it. failed. And the flavor is still there, it's just not the way I wanted it. Sounds like my love laugh, not the way I wanted it. It's still good, it's just not crispy. Cowbadike piss. <clears throat> yeah, I was thinking about breaking out a big wave. I've been thinking about it this whole time. Like, man, I want to have that beer. Everybody else is cracking them. Oh, it's still cold, you know. I didn't even know that you were recording. I thought you were just looking at it. I thought you were just looking at it. Got a big wave for drinking purposes. Well, everybody else cracked theirs without me, so uh, I guess I'm late to the party. But uh, Cajona Brewing Company Big Wave. Let's see what these are all about. Gotta love that sound. Probably look like one of them guys at the haunted house in the fall. I can't see. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna be uh, getting some of Joey's steak tonight, you know? 
probably, since my uh, stuff failed. Need to get this fire going again because, uh, you know, somebody threw all the garbage in it. have corn to cook, but since this thing looks like the steak that the uh, Fred Flintstone eats, grab the damn blank steak. then I don't have room for the corn on here. So, we're going to cook the corn after the steak is done. While it's resting, I don't think, corn doesn't take that long to cook, does it? No. Nah. I was going to say, I didn't think so. So, it's corn on the cob. Sweet corn on the cob. Yep, she's going to go for a little while and uh, we'll see where we're at in about <coughs> 8 minutes to 10 minutes because this thing is not thick at all. I don't have a plate, so but yeah, a couple cutting boards, my Bushcraft grill cover is going to be all soggy and bloody, whatever. The corn is still, the corn is still going. Putting it on the fire, caught them on fire, go figure. So, we're going to wait a little bit longer while this steak rests for these to cook. And I think we got a dinner. This steak is huge. Yeah, I'm kind of grateful, you know. I'm kind of grateful. Yeah, she bloodier than hell, too. I see all the juices coming out. Well, we'll get back with you. All right, guys. Uh, Joey cooked up his steak. I don't know if you could really see <laughs> that. It's actually not looking that bad. Got a little sliver of it. Uh... Ah, yes. Interesting. Thank you. That's some more. Yeah, it looks I? pretty good. Looks good. You doing? What? Not some of this? What? Steak? Pretty good. You done? Yeah. Kind of grateful. Um, my uh, fried chicken didn't turn out so well this time. Yeah, so. Got my Rocky Mountain water, too. You like my border? I don't know how much of this is going to be. Uh, Rocky Mountain fish. Oyster water. But. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this and. Mashed potato. And get interrupted by this. <laughs> Just kidding. Corn is on the fire. Andy's trying to film. And I don't care. I'm going to get grubbing on Sorry, bud. As you were. Yeah, I couldn't help but notice you still have a uh, plentiful of steak. You want some? Be for real, I'm going to have too much to eat for myself. Here. Ain't even a question. I'm going to put more butter on here because I'm a... It was a juicy steak, bud. Mmm. Did you just buy that bag? Yeah. That bag's huge. It's the smallest one I could find. That's the smallest one you could find? Yeah. Smallest bag they had at the old Willy Mart. That thing's huge. It was like $2 for this. It's a pound. I bought... It's a pound. I brought two and a half pounds of cheese, a pound of butter, two cobs on the corn. Three pounds two. of meat. <laughs> two cobs on the corn, two corn on the cob, and a potato. Talk about getting some tea going before bed. Bed? Uh -huh. I ain't going to bed quite yet, but... Te oro es. <coughs> Which means what time is it? Half past monkey's ass. I don't even know where my phone is. It, it might be it's dropped in the trees somewhere. 8.41. Early. So do you believe in the uh, mermaids? The sirens the of... Sirens? Of, uh... Lake Superior. Me? Yeah. You ever been in the water and just... That's a very vast body of water. 
Yeah, it is. It sure is warm. Wow. Who, taught you, who taught you how to husk? Your mom. You grip it from the top. Rip it down, you know, like a jimmy cap. Like that? Oh, I'll be fine. <laughs> like a jimmy cap. That shit uh, banging. God, is it ever hot. My God, it smells here. So it started raining there for a hot minute. It wasn't supposed to rain. So we had to uh, throw our tarps up on the fly. Um, and I left my camera out, and Joey was nice enough to grab that for me. But yeah, this is what we're looking like. I got the Ar the Aqua Quest, threw it up. So just in case it starts raining again, it's kind of all of a sudden. Joey's got a little tarp up. Go blind him. Blind him, uh, scratch my nasty foot. <laughs> I can't help it, man. DP's got a shelter and a half going. He had a, he planned for it. He already did. Had a tarp it's actually it's starting to rain again. Yeah. So I'm gonna get this uh, camera under the tarp. We're gonna go from there. How about that? Smells like just like waffles. Perfect. You know what else is perfect? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think I screwed the pooch and got the wrong kind. That smells good. That's yeah, pretty, pretty fire. Does it taste just like waffles? Yeah, you want to try it? Kind of. Mm. All right, I'll, I'll try my maple pecan Starbucks. Try this one best. here and see it. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to have coffee or do some tea. I figured that it would be nice to stay up a little longer since we don't get to enjoy something like this. I don't know about you, Joey. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a Bud Light drinker. That's yeah, what I don't really get out of the house much. You know? I don't know. I'm just been itching to get out of here and you know all we do is work 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 constantly. work 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 bought a motorcycle was hoping to go places with it and go to work Damn. They're like, oh, really? <laughs> you guys are not be naughty. Do not be naughty. You be good little babies. Yeah, it's... That's the one thing I worry about, bringing the dogs out without a tent. Yeah, they... I will bring a tent when Charlie goes for the first time. Charles Dumar Bronson. They would f them up. Yeah, they would. Yeah. Especially Charlie. Yeah. Charlie's a puss. <laughs> I don't mean to be a dick to your dog, but God, he sounds like a.
20 bucks. <laughs> Put some bass in your voice, Put dog. Some, fucking say it with your chest a little. <laughs> I'm like a fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I don't know if I poop myself. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It uh, is like 11 o'clock. <laughs> Slept in pretty, pretty hardcore. Um, got pretty chilly last night. I had to whip the old fall raven out. Um, yeah, heard a lot of coyotes last night. There was a lot of coyote action last night. Um, yeah. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get some breakfast going. Get the fire stoked up. And we're gonna probably get packed up and trek out. So, uh, let's get the ball rolling. A little extra flavor never hurt anybody. Oh, you'll be able to see it. They landed in there. It was, I don't know. Six o'clock, maybe, and it was cool at first. You know, it's like, oh, we got, you know, got a little neighborhood, nature neighborhood going on. Well, about three o'clock in the morning, I was done with it, honk, honk, honking, and they were walking. There's this little mud bar thing right here, and they were walking around on it, flapping their wings on the ground, and you know, doing things that nature does. But yeah, I didn't sleep. So, this is much needed. Then you got Expedition Novak sawing logs all night. Yeah, Expedition Novak just over there. Sound like freaking lumberjacks over there getting it on. <laughs> so, this is much needed. We were visited by Liberty last night. He yeah, had one over there in his tree. Over here in my tree. <laughs> we had a bear over here in the campsite. Owls. There was owls everywhere. Yeah. There was like an owl like right here. And he kept going. He kept going from this side to over there.
shit. I lost that. I got that off film. Like that? Yeah, it looks good. I don't like it. I really do like it. Even if you were to just leave it like that. I like how tall it is. It's one of those that goes around the hand or something. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this, and uh, I'll get back to you here shortly.
On that note, see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that's going to conclude it. Uh, we got some pretty good headway here uh, at the new campsite. Um, yeah, it's it's been pretty fun. Uh, it's good to, to be with Dylan again. Haven't been camping with Dylan in, shoot, what, five years? Something like that. Six, like six seven long years. Time. Yeah, it's been it's been a long time. It's been been great to spend this time with Dylan. Speaking of which, we're going to have to throw out a challenge to DIY with Mick Phil. Um, if you see this, Mick Phil, you're, uh, we're challenging you to come out here with us. Uh, join us. Um, we got a spot for you, boy. Yeah. So, come on out. Uh, don't be shy. So, yeah. You got anything to add? Well, yeah. we'll see you guys in the next adventure. Since my SD card was full, I wouldn't, you know, I wasn't able to say it in my video. So, I could say it in his. Copyright infringement, me again, and I'll sue you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kidding. guys, we're going to trek right. out. Uh, it's been a good time, so I'll catch you in the next one. Maybe next time we'll see a little better headway at this place. So, see you on the next one, guys.